There is so much exciting news that came out out of the Game Awards, however, the first PlayStation 5 game has been officially revealed, it is the third person fantasy looter slasher Godfall, and it looks absolutely tremendous, I want to talk a lot about that game, again the first PlayStation 5 title that has been officially confirmed, and that is Godfall. Coming from Gearbox Publishing and developer Counterplay Games, they have announced Godfall for the PlayStation 5, and it will be coming to PC through the Epic Games Store and it was announced at the Game Awards 2019, it'll be launching Holiday 2020. They noted, we're thrilled at Gearbox who have been chosen by Counterplay Games to bring their creative vision of Godfall to gamers on the PlayStation 5 and PC. As we continue our mission to entertain the world, Godfall is a perfect fit with Gearbox Publishing, playing with your friends, and gearing up are some of the things we love most. Counterplay Games CEO and Godfall Creative Director Keith Lee added, We're innovating with Godfall to provide a fresh take on action RPGs by rewarding skill-based offensive gameplay and making every hit matter. Namely, we want to feed into the yearning for the next best piece in your character build, so we plan to provide plenty of loot to players to ensure there's meaningful impact to gameplay and playstyles. Gearbox Publishing also has an official description out about the game, so let's go through that as well. They note, Godfall is a brand new next-gen looter slasher set in a bright fantasy fantasy universe filled with heroic knights and arcane magic. Godfall is a fantasy action RPG that utilizes high-impact third-person melee combat to engage players as they hunt for loot, don legendary armor sets, and defeat vicious enemies. As players face challenging missions in the world of Godfall, enemies and bosses will reward fans with head-turning loot as they are vanquished. Godfall can be played entirely in solo, duo, or three-player co-op, providing fun for all. So kind of interesting in that regard, where you can play the game solo, duo, or it caps out at three players. Key features of the game notes, third-person action RPG, counterplay games, innovating with Godfall to provide a fresh take on third-person action combat by rewarding skill-based offensive gameplay and making every hit matter. It's noted to be a looter slasher. As players face challenging missions in the world of Godfall, enemies and bosses will reward fans with head-turning loot as they are vanquished. Counterplay Games is aiming to feed into that yearning for the next best piece in your character build, so they plan to provide plenty of loot to players to ensure there's meaningful impact to gameplay and playstyle. And better together, when playing Godfall, you can go it alone or play with anyone at at any time, bosses and enemies have been designed from the ground up with co-op in mind with special abilities that counter multiple combatants attacking from different angles. We didn't get a ton of gameplay of the title, but the little bit that we did see, but my god, if these are the kind of visuals we're expecting on a PlayStation 5 games consistently, and these are the ones that are coming right when the console launches, sign me up for that because this game looks absolutely incredible from a technical standpoint. From a gameplay and design standpoint, it sounds rather compelling as well. I have to see a little bit more before I give an official judgment on that. However, there are a couple of other things I want to take a look at. The PlayStation blog has a post from Keith Lee, CEO at Counterplay Games, and he talks a lot about Godfall, talking about the goals of the game, and I do want to note some of that article. He noted, quote, Our goal with Godfall is to reforge fantasy action RPG style loot progression and third person melee combat into a whole new genre, the looter slasher. So they're really trying to create something entirely new and kind of establish a new genre, which I am all on board with. If we can launch the PlayStation 5 and right away we have developers trying things a little bit different, trying things a little bit more compelling. Even if it's not perfect day one, that's ultimately what's going to lead gaming as a whole to evolve as people stumble, as people fail, but ultimately get better and better. He continued by saying, namely, our game is uniquely one part gear driven and one part player skill driven. Godfall retains the desire for offense oriented, mastery driven combat, rewarding you with head turning powerful loot that then inspires your next set of character builds. Godfall's third Third-person melee combat is fluid, dynamic, and interactive, embracing offense over defense. While many games these days create one-off cat and mouse challenges for players, we wanted to broaden combat encounters with enduring replayability. In Godfall, you can expect satisfying one against many enemy encounters along with challenging head-to-head -head boss fights. Godfall's designed from the ground up with co-op in mind. You can play the entire game in solo, duo, or trio. Your enemies will respond dynamically, mutating their behavior and attack patterns based on your group size. Our goal for co-op is stronger together and fun for all. They round out the blog post by noting you can expect to hear much more about Godfall next spring. We're honored to bring Godfall to you on PlayStation 5 in holiday 2020. So it's not noted whether or not this will be a downloadable game, whether or not this will be a full $60 title. Could it even be a free-to-play game? I don't know. 
this does seem like the type of game that would be buy to play, but everything is definitely on the table right now. Alright, and also, keeping on the topic of Godfall, there was an in-depth interview on PlayStationLifestyle.net, which I'll leave a link to in the description box down below, that was conducted by them with Keith Lee, and it uncovers a lot of the questions about the game. You might be wondering, with the teaser trailer, are we looking at something pre-rendered or something in-engine? Keith Lee confirmed that was rendered real-time in-engine. Those are playable characters, lootable weapons, and actual in-game environments, so that is ridiculous. Again, I know we're going to get a visual leaf from PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5, but it seems like in recent generations, it does seem like the generational jump has been mitigated a little bit. I mean, if you look back at the jump between PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, that was astronomical, but at this point, games look so good that is it possible to make them look even better and better? And yeah, with a game like Godfall, it being an early PlayStation 5 title, it definitely looks better than a lot of PlayStation 4 games. And it was also asked, what were some of the inspirations behind on Godfall's looter slasher gameplay. On paper, it seems like a mix of Diablo, Borderlands, Destiny, Darksiders, and perhaps a few others thrown in the mix for good measure. Keith Lee noted Brandon Sanderson's ongoing The Stormlight Archive series. Joe Abercrombie's The First Law Trilogy and Isaac Asimov's Foundation series sets the tone and texture of our fantasy world. So they're trying to mix a lot of different elements, and that's incredibly compelling to me. I don't know how that concoction will ultimately turn out, but that does sound interesting from the get-go to me. They also noted the long-running Monster Hunter series with their diverse weapon class play styles, ranging from fast combos to more deliberate play, has always drawn us together as a team. Lee also noted the trailer sets the context at the beginning of the game when you're about to select your initial playable character. As an avatar, you play as one of the last remnants of an exalted knight's order intent on stopping the apocalypse and preserving the last vestiges of their world. You will be able to play all three of the heroes you see by acquiring and donning their armor sets known as Valor Plates. Besides these three, you will uncover and equip additional ancient Valor plates lost in time in your journey, each with their own characteristics and historical lineage. That to me also sounds like they're putting a lot of emphasis in creating lore and story, so this isn't just going to be a mindless, you know, hack and slash looting title, but it does seem like they're putting a lot of emphasis into the world that they're crafting here. PSLS also asked, can you tell us anything more about the arcane fantasy setting of Godfall and that multi-headed creature coming down from the storm above the obelisk? And Lee noted, Godfall is a brand new IP set in a bright high fantasy universe filled with heroic knights, arcane magic, and forbidden realms. The world is split up into the realms of earth, water, air, fire, and spirit. In the trailer, the player is gazing up from the earth realm towards the water realm, which is the swirling maelstrom ocean sky above. The obelisk is known as the Skybreaker Monolith, which you will learn more about at the start of the game. As far as gameplay goes, he noted all players have range attacks at their disposal, but limited by cooldowns or charges. Godfall's focus is about tightening up the combat circle. For melee combat, players will always have two primary melee weapons to switch between during a mission, none of which are exclusively long range in design. So this is a game that again, as the description of the title would suggest, a looter slasher, it's very much focus is the melee combat, making engaging combat and melee oriented combat on top of that. Range abilities will be available, but the emphasis is definitely on the melee combat. Oh, and by the way, the plan right now is for it to be a PlayStation 5 launch title, because PlayStation Lifestyle asked, are you working with Sony specifically to ensure that Godfall is a highlight of the PS5 launch window? What support have they offered in development of the game? And Lee just responded, we're excited and honored to be selected by Sony to be a PS5 launch title. We plan to be alongside PlayStation every step of the way next year. And he rounded out by once again noting that we can expect to hear more about Godfall in spring of 2020. So, a game where not everything is certain at this point, but a game that looks amazing based on the little gameplay that we have seen, based on the visuals, based on the context of the teaser trailer and what that has set in place. I think Godfall has potential to be one of the standouts at launch, and already a year ahead, the PlayStation 5 launch is already coming together. If you're telling me we're going to have Godfall and we're still going to get PlayStation's first party stuff, that has me very excited because this is, of course, a game that is being created with next gen in mind. It's not a game that's going to be available on the PS4. And and that's just getting bumped up for a PS5 release. No, it's a PlayStation 5 design game, and it looks incredible in that regard. That's going to conclude this video. Definitely let us know all of your thoughts on Godfall in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.